Hello guys, today I'm going to share with you guys about my experience in Myanmar. So I went to Myanmar two weeks ago. Actually, it was not my first time to Myanmar. I went there several times, but the trip is still amazing. The trip is still exciting. Well, or even more exciting because I really love Myanmar so much. The food, the local people, and culture and everything just really stunning so that's why I really love Myanmar so much and probably you won't be able to find this kind of culture and food or anything I mean everything that we have ever seen in Myanmar in any other ASEAN countries or even in Myanmar itself if you want to go there in the next five or ten years so yeah if you have never been to Myanmar and you probably want to know a few things before you go there so let's jump to the first one Myanmar is just opened its country for tourism in 2012 so guess what you won't be able to find easily this American fast food branches in Myanmar as far as I know there are only four branches of KFC in Yangon and one in Mandalay and for McDonald's you won't be able to find it in Myanmar well from what I know there's no McDonald's in Myanmar until now so yeah you're in Myanmar so I think it's better to try the local food right and the second one is transportation. Well, Yangon is not a capital city anymore, but it's still the busiest city in Myanmar. Well, uh, the traffic here is really crazy. Uh, well, it's not as crazy as uh, Vietnam. So I advise you to take a walk in a city center near Sule Pagoda and you will be seeing a lot of interesting things that maybe blow up your mind or maybe it's kind of interesting as well in the same time. So yeah, and if you wanted to explore the city uh, by vehicle, so I advise you to take a bus. Last time I went there, I mean the first time I went there it was on 2015 and, and there was no YBS or Yangon bus service yet at the time but now they have this bus service that the fare and the fare is really really cheap it's only 200 to 500 chat so if you want to go to the airport then you have to pay 500 chat and still it's still the cheapest ever uh, public transportation from the airport to the city that I have ever paid and if you want to go to take a taxi well you can but there is no taxi meter in, ta in, in um, Myanmar so that why that so then you have to bargain the rate or you can also download the grab app and then use it because grab app is available in Myanmar right now since last year and the third one you should walk barefoot in all of the temples that you want to go well it's different with uh, Thailand in Thailand most of the temple all of the temple you have to be barefoot but not in entire of the temple or complex but in Myanmar so it is not only inside of the temple but it's also in entire of the temple or area of complex no shoes low or even sock so then better to wear a slipper to make it easier and next, Myanmar currency is one of the weakness uh, currency in Southeast Asia. I think it takes me three years. If compared to Malaysia, Thailand, or Singapore, it's still uh, it's not as strong. So then, if you still have a lot of chiat on your pocket on your last night in Myanmar, so please be sure to spend it all before you leave the country because you won't be able to change it in any other countries because most of the uh, money changer in Thailand from what I know they won't accepting Myanmar chart so unless if you're a money collector then that's yours and last but not the least for you guys my Muslim friends I can say that Myanmar is Muslim friendly and it's not like what you have ever seen and uh, watch on TV or news because I found a Muslim, I found Christian, I found uh, Buddhist as well, they are living in harmoniously. So yeah, uh, you, you pray to visit Myanmar if you're Muslim. And also there are some halal restaurant in Yangon. Well, I'm not really sure what halal means for you because uh, one of my Muslim friends, he said that he should be eating in restaurant with halal certificates. So you decide. <laughs> 
yeah, overall my trip in Myanmar was really uh, memorable and I can't really tell how much that ha uh, was excited at the time because Myanmar is just really unique. Probably you won't be able to find what I've ever seen and feel. So that's why I'm um, so that's why guys I really want you to visit Myanmar right now because if you wait like another five or ten years, maybe you won't be able to find and see what I have ever seen and found. So yeah, pack your stuff and go.